Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at finding the area of compound shapes, but specifically examples where we've got circles involved. So for this first question, we want to find the area of the shaded region, and then asks us to give our answer in terms of pi. So we can see here, we've essentially got a large circle with a smaller circle cut out of the middle. So to find that area of the shaded region, we're going to find the area of the big circle and take away the area of the small circle. So starting with the big circle, we want to find the area. So we're going to use the formula pi r squared. So we need the radius of that big circle. Well, we can see in the question we've been given the diameter. We're told that the diameter is 40 centimeters. So if we know the diameter is 40, we can figure out the radius by simply halving this number. So if the diameter is 40, the radius is going to be 20. So then all we're going to do is substitute back into the formula for the area of a circle. So we're going to do pi times the radius squared, but we were told the radius was 20. So I'm just going to swap that r for 20. So we've now got pi multiplied by 20 squared. Well, 20 squared is 400. So leaving this in terms of pi, that would just simply be 400 pi. So that's the area of the bigger circle. Now we're going to look at the small circle. So looking at the small circle, we want to figure out the area. So we're going to use the formula pi r squared again. So fortunately for us, we've been given the radius this time. We're told that the radius is five centimeters for the small circle. So we're just going to substitute in. So we've got pi multiplied by, instead of the radius, I'm going to substitute in that 5. So we've got pi multiplied by 5 squared. Well, if we do that 5 squared, that gives us 25. So in terms of pi, that simplifies to 25 pi. So that gives us the area of the smaller circle. So now to get our shaded region, all we're going to do is take the area of the large circle, which was 400 pi, and we're going to take away the area of the smaller circle, which was 25 pi. So if we do 400 pi, take away 25 pi, that's going to give us 375 pi. So we need to remember to use our units as well, because our dimensions were given in centimetres, because we're figuring out an area, our units would be centimetres squared. So our final answer for the shaded region would be 375 pi centimetres squared. OK, for this next question, we've got to find the area of the shaded region again. And again, we need to give our answer in terms of pi. So this time, our shaded region is essentially a square with a circle cut out of the middle. We know it's a square because if we look at the dimensions, we've got 10 for both sides. So for this question, all I'm going to do is find the area of the entire square and then take away whatever the area of the circle is. So to find the area of the square, all we're going to do is base times height. And because we know it's a square, we know the sides are identical. We're just going to be doing 10 multiplied by 10 or 10 squared. So if we do 10 times 10, we're going to get 100. So that's the area for our square. We're then going to look for the area of this circle. So to find the area of the circle, we're going to use our formula pi r squared. So looking at our diagram, we know what the radius of the circle is. We're given that it's 2. So I'm going to substitute r for 2. So I'm going to put it in a little bracket like so. So we've now got pi multiplied by 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, so that simplifies just to 4 pi. So because the question asked us to leave our answer in terms of pi, I'm going to leave that 4 pi for the time being. So if we know the area of the entire square was 100, and the area of the circle was 4 pi, to find the area of that shaded region, all we're going to do is simply take them away. So we would have 100 take away 4 pi. And we also need the units because our lengths were given in centimetres. That means the area is going to be given in centimetres squared. So because the question asked us to leave our answer in terms of pi, 
our final answer would simply be 100 take away 4 pi centimetres squared. OK, and for this final question, we want to figure out the area of the shaded region again. But this time we're going to give our answer to two decimal places. So for this question, we've got a rectangle with two circles on the inside. So initially, it looks like we've got the dimensions for the rectangle, but not for the circles. But if we look a bit closer, we can actually use the dimensions from the rectangle to show that these circles are identical. Because we know the height of this rectangle is 6 metres. We also notice that the height of this circle and the height of this circle is also 6 metres as it touches from top to bottom. So we call that dimension the diameter, so we know the diameter of these circles are both 6 metres. And that checks out too, because if I take the diameter horizontally from this circle to then this circle, that goes from the left side of the rectangle all the way to the right. So we can add those two diameters together, 6 add 6 gives us that dimension for the rectangle of 12. So we know these two circles both have a diameter of 6 metres. So for this question, we're going to find the area of the whole rectangle and then take away the area for the two circles. So for the area of this rectangle, we're simply going to do base times height. So if we do base times height, we're just going to substitute in those values. So the base is 12, the height is 6. If we do 12 multiplied by 6, that's going to give us 72. So that's the area for the rectangle. We now want to find the area for both of the circles. So we know the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if I want the area for two of these circles, I can simply multiply that by 2. So our formula here can just be 2 lots of pi r squared. We now want to substitute into that formula. So we need the radius. Well, we said earlier we know the diameter of both of these circles is 6. So that means the radius is half of this, which would simply be 3. So substituting into our formula, we're going to have 2 pi and then instead of r, I'm going to substitute in my 3, so I'm going to put that in a bracket, and then I've still got that squared on the outside. So now what we can do is type that in on the calculator. So we've got 2 pi, and then in our bracket we've just substituted that 3, and then we have our squared on the outside. So when we hit equals, we get 18 pi. So I could convert that to a decimal now, but to save me writing out all those decimal places, I'm just going to keep it as 18 pi for the time being. So I'm going to put that 18 pi here, so that would be our area for the two circles. So now to figure out the area of the shaded region, all we need to do is take the area of the rectangle, which we've figured out to be 72, and we're going to take away the area of the two circles, which we've just figured out to be 18 pi. So going back to the calculator, if we type in 72, take away 18 pi, that gives us an answer of 15.4513322 and because the question wanted our answer to two decimal places that would simply round to 15.45. We need to remember our units as well because our lengths were given in meters that means our area is going to be given in meters squared. So our final answer for the shaded region of this particular shape would be 15.45 metres squared. So well done if you followed along with those questions, and that's it for this video. If you want to check out any other videos on finding the area of compound shapes, then I've left some links to them in the description, and I'll also put a card in the top corner, so feel free to check them out. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are any topics you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to make some videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.